Hey guys, recently I went to Miami. And by recently, I mean February. And by Miami, I mean Miami. I went to Miami for two days. And I know you might be like, why two days? Well, let me explain it to you. That was all the time we had to be there. But that's okay because I captured plenty of fun content like Balenciaga stuff, oh the God. Webster stuff, Sack stuff, my outfits. Let's get into it. I forgot to record literally anything. The first thing I'm doing is going to Kith, because why would I not? If you don't know what Kith is, it's basically a boutique type of store that sells everything from Balenciaga to their own brand. All of their stuff is quite expensive, but it's not just about being expensive. They have a lot of cool stuff in there as well. <laughs> This is a Marc Jacobs Louis Vuitton graffiti bag or whatever it's called. It's a keep all and I've never actually seen one in real life. Even when I went to the exhibit, I didn't see one. I saw a reproduction on a piece of wood. So this was really cool to see. I've also never seen these. These are the Fear of God Californias, I believe, and they're like a foam slide type of thing. I had a whole essentials era, so it was really cool to see these in person for the first time. Then we went from Miami Beach back to Miami. Okay, so I just got in my room. I'm really, really tired and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Oh, so we have this walkway and a desk and then this pillar, which I don't mind. It reminds me of when I lived in Kansas actually. Here's me. So this bathroom has like three quarters of a wall, which I love. I think it's amazing. And then, yeah, this is like a business hotel, I believe. Here's one of the views. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And then, here's another one of the views. I think that's super delightful. Yeah, I love the urban part of Miami. I never get to see it, so. This is really cool for me. Okay, so now I've been setting everything up. I'm still so tired, this is not good. Y'all know I love a layout. Here we have all my accessories for this trip, just to keep it fun and whatever. Here we have the tragic death of the Vetclon bomber because it's just too hot here. We got some bags to choose from. And then of course we have like a super diverse color palette of clothing to choose from. We have everything from my exclusive Jerry Lorenzo to Ariana to, oh, to Ariana to Ariana. I mean, Under Armour, you name it. I'm in India and I forget to film and my eyebrows are fucked up, but I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it's an essentials. That's terrifying. I just like this look. It's kind of my go-to. And I kind of love it. So, there you go. Alright, bye. I love going to stores, even like Saks, just in very different locations because the selection is always so different. For example, as opposed to Chicago or New York, in Miami they have a lot more neon colors no matter the season or the year. The options are always less heavy. It's just very interesting to see what they're selling here, but from the same brands.
Now this was something I was so excited to see. This is the Balenciaga Twomplay shirt, which I have never seen in real life. It's like a big short sleeve button up shirt over a long sleeve cotton t-shirt, but it's all one piece and it's meant to look like it's thrown back a certain way. I really, really want one of these in black, but I was so excited to see this. So I had to try it on. something weird that Dema has made. Like it takes a second. But like see how like see that like effect girl I'm getting framed damn. Do you see that like effect of like the scrunching and like it looks like it's like falling off the shoulder? Like that's what it's like meant to um, look like. You know what I mean? It's like you can run it but like yeah actually that's really cool because like if you like clubbing like it really starts picking up around to it. Oh my god Dang. Okay. That I'm bored. I want to explore. This is something. What is this? A ballroom. Let's go inside. Whoa. Okay, sorry. There was somebody there. What else? Orchid A? No way. Orchid B? No way. Outfit number two. It's next day. I fell asleep. Don't remember any of it. Contacts were in. Same outfit, just a different shirt. All right. Now I'm going to Brickle Mall. It's, you saw it last night, but it's gonna look different during the day. I am dying, cause, f whoa, okay. I kind of feel like I need a nose surgery. Here's the outfit. I haven't worn shorts in so long. And these ones are new and they're shorter. And I don't know how to feel about them. I mean like, it's fine, but I just feel like, I've also been wearing just like huge pants for the past like couple fashion seasons. So now I'm here and I'm like, <laughs> you know, I don't know. <laughs> Let's go. This is from Sweetener World Tour. This is Lululemon. These are Cole Haan socks and then Adidas shoes. And the glasses are Shalenciaga. This denim hoodie. Pretty self-explanatory. I'm just gonna change into it and let's just get into it. I just realized that this is the day that I lost my earring because look, but Anyways, this is one of my favorite pieces from one of my favorite looks from one of my favorite shows. This is Balenciaga Fall Winter 2022 Denim Pullover. This is meant to be part of the collection of outerwear that instead of having closure on the front like we typically know, they're all just pullover and this is meant to be like a denim jacket that's a pullover. <laughs> See how the sleeves are longer than the waist? That is a Demna signature that I love. I mean, it's just so sexy. Oh my god, the hands can touch in the middle. Anyways, so it's very thin. The structure... The structure, like, remains, which is good. My friend Danae was like, would it keep you warm, like, in the wind? And the answer is yes. It wouldn't keep you warm in, like, the cold, I don't think. I don't, I don't know what size is this, but like I said, like, this is not an outfit that I would wear. I would wear this with, like, my big black pants. A jacket that's very, like, it was, it was not. So, I actually bought a jacket that was very similar to this one, and it was because of this one. I just was under the impression that this was thicker, but I actually don't mind that it's, like, a lot thinner. Look at the little button. Okay, but yeah, I love this hoodie, but I'm not gonna buy it. Now I'm going to the design district. It was just time for the pants again. Also, I changed the hoops to no balls, just cause. Wanted to try something new. Oh my God, here's the day time. Oh my God, I'm illiterate.
So this is the space where they had Virgil's installation and like the big cup that those people are sitting in. It was left over from there. They didn't seem to clear it all out, which I don't really know how to feel about, but. I saw this store online, I thought it was the coolest thing ever, and I was so stoked to go in. First, you're greeted by this door that's meant to look like a steel door wall, I don't know, but it's meant to look like ripped and peeled back. It's just so cool. The designer's this guy called Nicholas. He's literally so talented, and I love his work. So I'm gonna walk y'all through some of the cool stuff I saw in Balenciaga, and I'm gonna try not to talk too much. So this is from the Mud 23 show, and I absolutely love this. Demna is once again trying to do different things while doing the same at the same time. These are like shrunken puffers, which is pretty different for him. Here's more of that pullover stuff I was talking about. This is a pullover bomber jacket, which I need. I saw this cool post-it hoodie, which is just like a nice technical practice piece. And even though I'm not a dress wearer, I appreciate Balenciaga's dresses so much. These are so beautiful, and I love the way that they all fall, and they're so ornate, but they have something so slick and futuristic about them as well, while being kind of timeless and like a bit of a classic reference. Now these are so cool, not only do they look cool, but they are a collector's piece. This is amazing. These are the Balenciaga Adidas pantaboots that Bella Hadid wore in that campaign. I love these so much. I was so glad to see them in person. This is cool and something different. We've seen Alexa Demi wear this in a couple colors. It's like a continued jean from the bottom to the top, but it is a top and it looks really cool. Also, I love the like nondescript bags, like not the Kaggle or the Hourglass. Kind of reminds me of the clutches from the new 24 show. Then we have the beat up Adidas Balenciaga sneakers, which I think are really, really cool. I love like the whole distressed in a fake way type of thing, even with dirt and stuff. And that's kind of how this store is done as well, which is really cool and I'll get into. For example, here we have this beautiful staircase that is like fake distressing fake exterior like this really does remind me of like an old European staircase it works and it works in the store with the products very well the staff was so nice there were like multiple staff members that were offering to like take my picture and they wanted to get the angles and get the sign in like they were so nice also I think this is a fake skylight so I made my way up the stairs which literally felt like I just can't explain it like an outdoor European staircase they had like this screen there that made it feel like it was an ad in the store it was just so cool once i got upstairs i was greeted by this oil spill look how cool that is bro it's like a fake oil spill made of like some type of other flooring on top of carpet i have never seen anything like this it's just so good it's so cool it's so good i literally i i <laughs> I can't. Even just this shelf within the wall holding the glasses was stunning. And all the wall, the floor, like everything was just so well done. So then we have more oil spill and beautiful shelving and flooring. And then we just have some cool pieces over here. I love these Kaggle variations. And then this changing room area was literally so gorgeous. I'm going to the Dior Cafe. Good menu. Cool. So, I don't know. I just thought it would be fun to do like a hotel, like, I don't know. You know? Final outfit. I know this is like such a different look than everything I've been wearing. Just super different. And I know this might be kind of unexpected. So I'm sorry if this is like a little jarring. Because I never wear things like this. This is an Essentials Fear of God shirt that I love. It's very big. Um, and then my Lululemon shorts that I wore this morning. And same thing down there. Shalenciaga glasses. I'm going to the Webster in Miami. You'll see. So the Webster is this really cool store in Miami. They also have some other locations. I know they have one in New York. They have stuff like Mugler, as you can see here, and some other really cool trendy, but also just really cool collector, high quality, high fashion pieces. This is the women's floor, which is filled with all this cool stuff. And I couldn't believe that I saw Vetement in person here because I rarely see it anywhere. So I was having a stellar time.
Now, one thing I love about the Webster is they always have the coolest displays and the clothes are organized in the coolest way. All the products are really integrated in with each other. You'll see more when I go upstairs. Here's upstairs. They were playing Ariana. I'm happy. They got the pink and the green mixed in together. It's like a little, you know, Wanda Cosmo, Glinda Alphaba moment. I love it so much. And you see like the mix of Beachy, Chanel, Versace, like just like it makes a lot of sense, you know? Here we have a bit more of like a formal wear pink and black section. You can definitely tell this is curated in a very intentional way the space is also just so beautiful we got some more vet small here and then we have this blue more like aqua section you see the versace baroque and stuff marine Serre beachwear i love it a lot of this towel material and amina muaudis also nicely continuing the pink and green i love this big balenciaga yellow fur moment i see it all the time on social media but i've never seen it in person and then a mugler bodysuit which is pretty cool here's some more cool curating we have like an orange black section and what i love about grouping all these colors together is then you let the materials really stand out and have a difference from each other it's really cool seeing Gucci paired next to mugler those are not brands i would normally see together but i like how they did it based on style Seeing this now is so funny because this is way before the H&M Mugler collab, but this looks like H&M Mugler. It's just that the difference is a couple hundred dollars. All right, y'all. I got to pack now, but this has been the video. Thank you so much for watching. There's some stuff you might like. I think it might be on the screen. But thank you so much for watching. This has been fun. I'm trying to do something different, if you couldn't tell. Okay. And be more consistent as well. But I hope you enjoyed. And I'm just gonna finish packing and get my ass back to New York where I'll cook up something else fun for you. And that's all. Check out some other stuff because I've done some fun ones, but... Okay, bye.